Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the only portion of the video you're going to be seeing my face. A lot of you guys have requested a makeup collection video, so I am here to deliver on that. It is not the best storage situation wise because it is on my desk and I do use it a lot for schoolwork primarily, but I also get ready there, so yeah. I'm not going to show you like organization wise, but I am going to take you through what I have in each category. Um, just because I think that is very interesting so it's not just like all cluttered and you don't see what you really have just kind of like the abundance of it all so let's go ahead and jump into my makeup collection alrighty so we're starting off with primers slash setting sprays because I consider them the same category I as you can see I don't have that many um, just because I don't intend to use it so I have a small Too Faced primed and peachy cooling matte skin perfecting primer i haven't tried it yet i'm sure it would come in handy in the summertime even though i had it this last summer and i decided not to use it i also have the beauty blender opal essence like just glowy primer i've used it a couple of times but not enough to form an opinion on it and last but not least i have my two travel size urban decay all-nighter setting sprays they're like the ones that come in a kit one has been used almost out oh my gosh this is all rolling around and then one that has been unused and I definitely use them when I need my makeup to stay on longer even like during mask times now um, it really has come in handy but those are all like my primers slash setting sprays which just is a category of making your makeup last longer this is my foundation portion of the collection I have two in a mini I have the Urban Decay Stay Naked which I am panning for the year 2021 if you guys want to go ahead and follow that um, just to see my progress on a lot of these items you're going to see in this video I have my Fenty Beauty I think it's the hydrating foundation it's the Pro Filter Foundation. Um, unpopular opinion, but I actually really like this foundation. And then I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Mini in the shade Y218. And it's okay, and I, I use it from time to time. But right now, I'm not really wearing foundation that much uh, because, you know, masks. Um, but sometimes I do when I am, you know, either going out somewhere or something special. Um, so yeah, my foundation. For concealers, I only have two. I have my Rare Beauty concealer um, that I like to use underneath the eyes, and then I have my Tarte Shape Tape concealer that I use for the rest of my face. Um, that's the only thing I have right now. It's basically what I use whenever I leave the house, just because it's a lot lighter and it's a lot less heavy on the face. Um, and yeah, I only have two, so that's a very good decent amount I guess. Here we have powders, whether it's setting powders, finishing powders. You'll notice that a lot of my base makeup tend to be higher end products um, just because I find that they work the best for my problem areas slash just look more beautiful on the skin but I do have you know my Maybelline Fit Me powder which is a drugstore which I love so so much. So I have that one. I use that more as a finishing not as a setting or if I need a little bit more coverage powder. I have my loose setting powders here. I have my hourglass one, which I tend to use like special occasions, but I don't want to add any color. Haven't tried the Too Faced Peach Perfect. I think it was a point perk where a lot of these random Too Faced peachy products are coming from um, that I haven't used. Um, the one that I'm currently trying to pan, which is a Makeup Forever like Pro Super Matte um, which is almost gone and is what I'm currently using to set my face. And then I have a couple of my hourglass finishing powders. This one being my favorite, which is in ethereal light. But I do use the little palette quite a lot because I've been working on finishing that up as well. But those are my powders. Obviously, I have an abundance of them in comparison to the rest of my collection. I guess not in comparison to other people, but... Um, I don't know I think this is a good amount like even if this one wasn't there I would be happy with it and this one's on its way out so here we have bronzers contours etc uh, this one you're gonna see double dipping because it's half a contour powder half a highlight powder which um, is what I'm focusing on just using in the month of January if you've seen again my project pan video the intro I definitely would go check that out I have my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. 
also have the Chanel OG Tan De Soleil Bronzer, which I was working on last year and I tend to use every now and then. And then I have this Hourglass Bronzer that hasn't gotten much love just because um, I like to use it when I'm tan and that didn't happen last year. But this is in Luminous Bronze Light, but this is a beautiful bronzer. I have a lot of Hourglass products. I do love Hourglass. It's just... It's beautiful on the skin. So those are all of my bronzers. So I decided to might as well talk about my highlights. As you can see, I have a lot of Laura Geller. I love highlights, but I'm not obsessed to the point where I need like 50 of them like some people are. Um, but I do find that Laura Geller is one of my favorite uh, highlighting brands. And I also haven't just bought many because it takes so long to use up, especially when you use such a little amount. So we're seeing again the MAC one because um, it has that highlight on top. We have the Laura Geller Duo, um, the French Vanilla and Portofino Duo. I think I bought this because of Tati and I don't regret it. I love it. So this is like more of like an everyday. And then we have our like pinky highlights. I'm very pale so I don't have any gold highlights. Like even this one I can only really use when I'm tan. And this is in Peach Glow. And then this one is in Charming Peak which I can use year round, but that's all I really need. If I wanted like something more stark than like a stark white or like shimmery that's more than just these two, I can just use an eyeshadow, like a shimmering eyeshadow if I wanted like a different effect. But um, I'm more of a fan of like the blendability. I don't like it to be like a line, which I find that if you're pale colored highlighters that are like darker than this, um, at least in my case, like it just is a blatant line on your face and I'm personally not a fan of that. I want it to look a little bit more seamless and so I find that these do the job and I don't need any more than this. We have arrived to blushes. You'll see that there's a lot of pinks. Um, it's honestly one of my favorite uh, shades to wear as well as peach, even though I don't have that many peach, but I feel like I wear peach more than pink. I should definitely reach for my... <laughs> pink ones more. So I have a couple of the hourglass ones. This was like the limited edition blush palette. Love the shades. Um, I love these two the most and then I don't use that one that often. Whenever I do my mom's makeup I put that on her and it looks gorgeous on her. Um, I also have it in diffused heat where I have a lot more highlight than blush but it is more of a hot pink so it worked out for the better and I can even use it as a highlight if I wanted to um, if I just focus my brush, obviously in the bigger highlight areas. I have two pink MAC blushes. I've decluttered a lot of my MAC blushes to my mom just because, and I've decluttered the peach ones now that I think about it. And now that I'm looking at this, I am missing a peach blush that I don't know where it is, but I was using. I have a Laura Mercier blush. This is a nice, especially it's so compact. This is in Rose Petal. It's just so little, so compact. It definitely, uh, whenever I travel, it definitely goes along with me. This is the pink cargo glowy blush that is in my project pan. It's just another glowy pink. Again, if you want to know what this looks like, check out that video. Then I have NARS Madly that I got uh, because Kathleen Lights loved this blush. And I feel like it looks the best when I'm a little bit more tan. Um, if not, it just looks really dark on my cheeks, but I still love it nonetheless. And it's not a peach and it's not a pink. So there's that one. And then these are the newest additions to my collection, if you saw that haul. Um, it is the Rare Beauty, uh, what is this called? It's <laughs> just like the liquid blushes in Bliss and Enjoy. And I definitely love this like neutral with a hint of like a color. And then this is like when I want a super peachy look. So I feel like I... I'm very happy with my blush collection. Again, I'm missing a peach one and I don't know where it is. I have one more. <laughs> and I think I like blush is something I definitely don't need. Um, I did add these two because they were colors I was missing. Obviously, I have mostly pinks and I like cream formulas also. So my two little cream blushes and then the rest of my blushes. Alrighty, so here are my big palettes. I know I only have these. I actually have a few more um, on their way to me because like obviously with this a small amount plus like my other mini shadows I feel like there's been a lot missing and that I've just been very repetitive of my eye look and I don't like that anymore or like 
I've just been tired of it, so I did purchase a couple of new ones that aren't here yet. But this is my black palette that is still a disaster. Um, eyeshadow is broke, but I love the eyeshadow that broke, so that's why I haven't cleaned it out yet. Because I don't want to throw it away, even though I technically still have the pigment version of it. But it's also mixed with one that I don't have anymore. But in here, I have a couple of Inglot eyeshadows, I have a couple of Viseart shadows, and I have what is left over of that Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette that I was also working on last year. So as you can see, only like the brown neutrals are left. Um, and I threw away everything else that just wasn't going to get used and was, you know, kind of old. So this palette looks a lot more sad than what it used to be. But, um, you know, that's going to be changing with the new shadows coming in. I have the Soft Glam palette, which is the palette I'm focusing on this year to use up. And, you know, I like the idea of this palette. And it was all the rage a couple, you know, years ago. And I don't know. I just find that a lot of the colors, like all of those crease shades and matte shades are all along the same color family that it was panning last year and I find myself that I often want to use this palette in conjunction with other eyeshadows which is going to take me a little bit longer to obviously use up in 2021 if I want to pan this palette and move it out of my collection but I just find that I don't have much variety in the mattes so that's something interesting um and, I don't know, I like a more lighter makeup look. Like, I'm not a very heavy colored eyeshadow wearer. And I feel like the Anastasia ones can get heavy really quick. So, I have to use a very, very light hand. But I still want to use it up nonetheless. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland. And I bought this right before the lockdown or before it happened. Thinking that these would be great clubbing slash going to the bar shades and definitely outside of my comfort zone and I haven't gotten the chance to use it that much right now I am using like these first three shades as like setting my eyeshadow primer shades um so that way I'm getting some used to it but again it's kind of all within the same color family of being dark and very pigmented and for me personally not every day um again I do try to use them but I find that with these new eyeshadow palettes that are coming in, which I will share with you guys as soon as that comes in, it's going to fix the hole that I feel is in my collection. So, yeah, my eyeshadow palettes for now. So these are what I consider minis, just because they're not single eyeshadows and they're also not big palettes and they're small and compact. So I have my Viseart Solstice and... Uh... Midsummer, which I picked up in my haul back, I don't know, in October maybe. Um, the, basically the last official makeup haul I've ever posted and have only posted in a while. I do love these. See, these are a lot different than the other ones. Um, I love Viseart's eyeshadow quality, so I feel like this kind of fixed a neutral, like a warm neutral hole that I had. It's different from everything else once it's on the eyes. And then these are a lot more cool toned and... A little bit more pinky instead of just like warm so that's a category that more eyeshadows are probably gonna come in like the cool neutral side and then I have a Mac quad it was kind of like a build it yourself I only use the ones on the right hand side because the left hand side ones are very very old um, and I just don't feel comfortable using them this is like all that glitters and then this is like a dusty rose I don't know what it's called but I don't really use those because of the age. Like, I don't even want to think how old that is. But I can't get them out of here, so um, they're housed in here. Uh, because they don't really work in my other magnet palette because MAC magnets are weird. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Bella Sophia uh, quad, which I wanted for the longest time. And I honestly haven't given it the love that it deserves. I don't know I kind of felt a little underwhelmed by it and I expected more from this palette um, so I like I can use half of the shades more like on an everyday basis and I feel like these are like really dark and I just haven't played with it a lot to find a good like comfort level with them and I should because this was really expensive but these are all of my mini eyeshadow palettes 
these are all my single eyeshadows, which don't get as much love as they should, but um, I do love them all. So let's start here at the top. I have two cream eyeshadows from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Marie Antoinette, which is so beautiful. Definitely the most used out of two. And then this is in Rose Gold, um, which obviously gets, like, even by the packaging alone. Like, I didn't purchase them, like, that far apart from each other in Marie Antoinette has definitely been love like even the side writing is gone um i have a becca opal highlighter that really i only ever use as an eyeshadow if i use it i haven't even used it honestly as an eyeshadow um opal is way is this opal yeah it is way too dark for me as a highlight again it leaves oh there's me <laughs> It leaves like a colored streak on my face and I'm not a fan of that, but it is really beautiful as an eyeshadow. I just really haven't used it as an eyeshadow because the singles get forgotten about a little bit, so I need to make it a habit to use it. And then I have two Urban Decay eyeshadows. I have Scratch, which is a such a pretty pink, honestly. I love using this. I do... I love it every time I use it. I'm very happy with it. And then I have one of those like glitter eyeshadows in Space Cowboy. I've used this so much. Like this I used yeah, like going out and birthdays and performances and Coachella. It is getting a little bit older, but it does still work. It's still popping. I didn't get that much use in 2020, unfortunately. Um, and I'm basically going to keep it until it dries out, <laughs> maybe like for another year, maybe two. We'll see how it goes, but it is beautiful, and anything that you want it to be a little bit more glittery and sparkly, that's a great topper over what, whatever you're going to use. Um, so yeah, then I have my MAC Pigment in Naked. This is what is partially exploded all over my black palette. I tried pressing it and it worked pressed, but then I dropped it and because it's not like industrially pressed, it exploded. Um, but it is mixed with another eyeshadow that I don't have anymore that's like a rose gold. I probably should clean it up and just take my losses. Um, I mean, there is still so much product in this and I've had this for years. So I should probably clean it out. I have like another rose gold shade that could replace what's mixed in with that in the palette but I just it's hard and then I have my MAC singles like I use this orange every like fall or when I want like a true orange look I have this beautiful one in antiqued I have two of the extra dimension eyeshadows that I don't really use that often but every time I swatch when I'm like should I get rid of you I fall back in love this is in sweet heat which is like honestly the same as the becca one <sighs> and then i have this purple one in smoky mauve which i'm just like i never use this and then i swatch it and i'm like oh my god that's so beautiful this one is in cross cultured i was about to like put this in my back to mac pile and then i found a use for it um you know when you like pull your hair back and sometimes it looks like you might have like a little bit of like a bald spot because the hair is not as thick there i've been using this to put in my hair and i love it and now i found a use for it and i'm like yay don't have to cut my losses so yeah actually one single eyeshadow is on that way with that package as well it is a mac shadow that i used to have but it got stolen from me sad story and it was my favorite mac, mac eyeshadow um, but now it's coming back into my collection like after three years. So yay Here are all my lipsticks um, lip glosses, etc, etc um, You'll see a lot of the same brands. That's because I don't know I started wearing makeup at a very young age So when I find the things that I love I kind of stick with them I don't venture out that much and I don't like go through lip products that quickly so let's go ahead and go through them i only have two uh lip liner i was gonna say eyeliner pencils and this is my mac boldly bear lip liner pencil as well as my charlotte tilbury pillow talk uh pencil which honestly i need to use more because i hardly use them but again lip products is one of those areas that i struggle with I only have one ColourPop lippy stick. It is in Lumiere. Got it because Kathleen Lights when I was obsessed with her or when I watched her and was really like into what she recommended slash did. 
Um, so I have that, but I think I need to declutter it after this year because, you know, age factor. Even though, like, it's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no smell. There's nothing growing. Just, even just to, like, get through all my products, I think after this year I should get rid of it. I have my MAC lipsticks. I, like, it's one of the first makeup brands that I tried and really loved, and it works for me. I have three of the regular lipsticks and three of the Powder Kiss lipsticks, which I'm obsessed with. I love that look. So I have, like, Ruby Rue, Faux, Peach Blossom, Mullet Over, A Little Tamed, Devoted to Chili. I have done, like, I swear I swatch all my lipsticks videos if you want to watch that so I don't have to go through each and every one of them but if you want an updated one because there has been new additions then let me know. I only have two lip tints which is honestly what I use at nowadays because masking and I have the Labiote wine lip tint and a pony effect like peachy one and it's literally the only thing I use for the rare chance that someone sees me without a mask on when I'm out and about. Um, I have one lipstick from NARS that's like the bougie one, <laughs> the expensive one, the nice packaging one, and Vera. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Red, whatever this is, which honestly started to, like these don't last very long. I love this shade of red, but, and I've only had it for like two years maybe, and it's starting to go bad. Like I can start smelling the change in this which I'm is very disappointing but that's why I only have like like my Mac Ruby Woo is a lot older and it's perfectly fine no smell nothing growing just like very very matte and this is like brand new and it's already going bad so that's kind of disappointing I have my one and only lip gloss this is the Buxom White Russian lip gloss I have my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks um, which I do also have a video where I swatch all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks um, because that's what helped me pick shades out because, I don't know, right now you can't really go swatching and I don't know, like they're expensive so you really have to think of like your purchase. So if you want to see what they look like, that video exists. Um, and I only have five now because I did give one away. I have this tiny Too Faced one in Sex on the Peach which is just like a brownie nude. Um, and then I have my NARS, what are these called? Lip Glides? I don't know. I bought them in a set. I think like it came with seven. I've gotten rid of two that just don't work for me. And these are the shades that I do work. And I'm very happy with my lipstick collection. Not going to lie, there is a mini MAC one that's coming in this order. Um, but that's it. And I know there's like a ColourPop lip tint in one of my bags that isn't displayed here. That, you know, also gets used in the rare chance that I take off my mask. But that is everything for my lip collection, lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, etc, etc. So for anything that begins with eyes, eyebrows, eyeliners, eyes, <laughs> I decided to just group together because there's not that much. I am very modest when it comes to that stuff, like I don't see the purpose of having more than one. So I'm just going to slowly go through it. Um... I don't think I have anything missing. So, oops, for potted gel eyeliner, I have this tart one that's also in rose gold. It's very pretty. It's also a little bit more on the older side, but it's like shimmery. And if I ever want to do like rose gold eyeliner, which I used to do a lot, honestly, when I was back in California and in the summertime, like it would be my go-to thing. I would use that. I guess I can use the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow in rose gold to eventually replace it. But this is still good, and I love this a little bit more, so I haven't gotten rid of that. I only have one need for one black liquid liner, and that is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, the brush tip one. Like, I've been repurchasing this for years. Also have the ColourPop Liquid Liner in brown. I also really enjoyed it, and it, honestly, because I've been using a brush tip, going back to a pen tip, took me a little bit a while to get back used to it, not gonna lie, so... Um, but it does make a difference. Sometimes I just kind of dot it on and like push it into my lash line and it, I just love it. I have one nude eyeliner. This is the Tarte Fake Awake. It's the only pencil liner I have. I'm not the biggest fan of pencil liners on myself. I feel like they make my eyes look smaller and I don't like that. <laughs> so I only have this to make it look either more awake if I haven't had much sleep or if I want to make my eyes look bigger. 
my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. Just have a mini one because these things last forever. And then my mascara at the moment. I'm not a big hoarder when it comes to things, as you can see. Like these categories, I only have one of each and kind of repurchase them when it's done. I use these both. I mostly use the telescopic, but when I want a little bit more volume or more drama, I'll put this on top. But yeah, those are like eyeliners and mascaras. Very modest very not excessive and then I have my brows which uh, it's been an ongoing battle with them so I have the Anastasia dip brow powder that I love putting in my scar because it's the only thing that really lasts a long time in regards to making it not look so scar like um, I have two a backup of the ColourPop eyebrow pencil um, what is this shade oh it's in brunette they never have dark brown when I go, but honestly, a lighter one works for me because I don't like my brows looking too intense and intensely dark because I already have thick eyebrows and I feel like the darker you go, the more thicker they look and I feel like it just doesn't suit me in my opinion. So I have a backup. I recently got the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen and I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to venture into pens because I find that that's what looks best on my brows and kind of what I need. It just looks less intense, like there's less filling in. And again, I only have like those couple areas that need a little bit of help and I feel like the pen, although I don't want this pen, I like it, but it's $25 and I don't wanna keep repurchasing that if it's going to dry out fast, which I feel like it might, so I store it upside down, but like the pen route is definitely what I need to do for my brows. And then I have the Essence Clear Brow Gel that doesn't do shit for my brows. I just have too many and I used to love the Anastasia one, but again, I don't make that kind of money to just like keep buying the clear brow gel from Anastasia that actually helps with my brows. So it's still experimenting. I'm using it because it, you know, it somewhat does something, but it doesn't do what I want it to do, but you know, whatever. But that is that. So this is all of my makeup. I've literally just piled it all here. Ooh, sorry if you hear construction and shaking, but that's it. Um, I love how like some people use like massive amount of mountains that take up an entire room and they're like, oh my god, my makeup collection or makeup declutter. And I'm just like, girl, that is so much. I know it's your job, but um, this is my little pile. Fits on my desk perfectly. Again, this is where I do and operate most of my things. Um, some things will be joining, so look out for, I think it might be either the next video after this or the next two videos. Um, but that's it. I wanted to take a picture to add it to the thumbnail like this. My little makeup mountain, which I am perfectly okay with. And even in some categories, I'm like, I have too much. And that's for me personally. I'm the only person that wears this makeup. Um, the lines were like not aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then there are other things that I'm like, wow, I really want this back in my life. But truthfully, because we have to wear masks right now when I'm filming this. Um, there's no point, really. So, my makeup collection. Ta-da! Let me know what you think. Let me know how your makeup collection compares to this. But, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and enjoyed this video. Bye!